Hello everyone, welcome to another lesson in the Engineer's Insight. By the way, to those who come here for the first time, I am Jay Cabunias. I am a civil engineer and I am also currently teaching as an engineering professor. And in this video, we will talk about one of the important topics in algebra. So we have these worded problems. I know guys that you have already familiar with this topic. I know you have already solved a lot of worded problems in the past such as age problems, work problems. We also have these number or digit problems and mixture problem. But in this video, we will try to review on the age problem concept in algebra. But before I proceed to the main topic, let me give you first an important strategy on how to solve worded problems effectively. So number one is you have to make sure that you read the problem thoroughly and you understand the problem. The second is you represent the unknown by means of variable. The third one is you relate the unknown to each other and the values given in the problems. You equate or form an equation using the facts in the problem. You solve the equation and lastly you prove the answer. One way of making sure that you got the correct answer is by um, knowing that your answer is close to reality or close to a real or actual situation. That's one way of making sure that you have this valid answer to your um, problem. Okay, so we have this first problem. So the, we have this age problem number one. So Alvin is now 20 years older than his son. Now in 10 years, he will be twice as old as his son's age. What are their present ages? The best way in solving age problem is by using a table or to tabulate the equations that we got from the problem itself. So we have this first son's age and then Alvin's age. Then the second column would be the period. So since we have a two period here, the first is the present, then the future. So we have this present age of his son, which we represent that as X. And then Alvin's age would be, um, uh, but according to the problem, Alvin is now 20 years older than his son. Then we can say that Alvin's age is 20 more than his son's age. That means we have X plus 20. Okay, so X, again, we let X here as the age of his son and then X plus 20 here as the age of Alvin. Now, on the third column, that would be the future. That is 10 years from the present. So in this case, we add 10 to both ages. So we have X plus 10. Okay, and then for Alvin's age, we have X plus 20 plus 10. So therefore, we have X plus 30. Okay, so this would be the ages of Alvin's and his son for present and for future. But according to the problem, in 10 years, Alvin will be twice as old as his son's age. That means in 10 years, Alvin's age is twice as old as his son's age. So we can say that in 10 years, so we have Alvin's age is 2 times x plus 10. Correct? Because again, this is the age of his son in 10 years. So we multiply it by 2 so that we would get the twice of his son's age. So we equate the equation here since we know that Alvin's is also x plus 30. So we equate the equation x plus 30 equals to 2 times x plus 10. Again, the sum of x plus 30 should be equal to the product of 2 and then um, x plus 10. That's how we can compute for the value of x. So in this case, we, we simplify the equation further. We have x plus 30 equals 2. We distribute the, um, the 
the number 2 inside the parenthesis, so we have 2x plus 20. So we have here 2x minus x equals to 30 minus 20. So we have x, 2x minus x is x is equal to 30 minus 20 is 10. So since we know that x is the age of Alvin's sons, okay, so this is the son's age. To compute for the age of Alvin in the present, so we have x plus 20, which means we have 10 plus 20, this is equals to 30. So this is now the Alvin's age. So we can say then that in the present, Alvin's age is 30 years old, his son's age is 10. So if you want to check your answer, so we consider their future ages. So again, in the future, we have x plus 10. That means we have 10 plus 10. We have this 20. This is the age of his son 10 years from now. Now for Alvin, we have x plus 30. That is, we have here 10 plus 30. We have this 40 years old. This is for Alvin. But it satisfies the condition in which it says that Alvin's age is twice the age of his son because if you multiply 20 by 2, we would get 40 years old. So therefore, we can say that our answer, 10 and 30 years old, are correct. That is for our problem number 1. So we have this question number 2. Aris is twice as old as Rico while Jay is 24 years younger than Aris. If half of Aris age 6 years ago was 3 less than one half the sum of Rico's age in 4 years and Jay's present age, find the ages of each. So we have 3 persons here. We have Aris, Rico, and Jay. And in this problem as well, we have 3 different times. We have the past, which is in the problem that is 6 years ago. We also have the present age and then their future ages or that is four years from now. Okay, so we have to um, generate an equation based on these three different situations. So, but first we have to um, set a variable for their individual age on the present time. Okay, now in the problem it says that Aris is twice as old as Rico. That means we can set here um, Rico's age as X and then Aris' age is twice the age of Rico, that is 2X. Okay? And then J's age is 24 years younger than Aris. That means J is younger and Aris is older than J. So we can say here that J's age is 2x minus 24 okay again 2x is the age of Aris and 24 is the difference of Rico and J's age we use subtraction it's because we know that J is younger than Aris now in the past we can say that the age of Aris is 2x minus 6, Rico's age is x minus 6, Jay's age is 2x minus 24 minus 6. That means if we simplify it further, we can have 2x minus 30, correct? Now in the future, we can say then that Aris' age is 2x plus 4, x plus 4 for Rico, and j is 2x minus 24 plus 4 or if we simplify it further we can say that negative 24 plus 4 that is negative 20 so therefore j's age in 4 years is 2x minus 20 okay so we have now their ages in three different situations and now we proceed to the computation of the variable x. So we try to look at the second statement in the problem. It says that if half of Aris' age six years ago was 
3 less than 1 half the sum of Rico's age in 4 years and J's present age. Now we are asked to find the ages of each. So again from the first statement it says that if half of Aris' age 6 years ago, so that means 6 years ago, Aris' age is 2x minus 6, correct? So therefore, we get the half of it. So we have 1 half of 2x minus 6. And this equals to 3 less than 1 half the sum of Rico's age in 4 years and Jay's present age. So that means we add the age of Rico in 4 years and Jay's present age. Now, in the table, we have Rico's age as x plus 4 in 4 years and Jay's present age as 2x minus 24. Then, we add these two ages, then we divide it by 2 or we multiply it by 1 half. So, we have 1 half of x plus 4, that is the age of Rico's in 4 years, then 2x minus 24, that is the age of J in the present okay then we subtract 3 because according to the problem that is 3 less than the sum now as what you can see here we put 3 as the second term it's because we have this word than in the problem like for example if we have 2 less than 5 in the statement so we can express that as 5 minus 2 Okay, remember that one. But if we only have 2 less 5, then we would have the inverse of the expression. That would be 2 minus 5. You have to make yourself familiar with how to convert a statement into an equation. So we can now compute for the value of x. So we have this um, 2x over 2. We multiply 1 half inside the parenthesis. So we have minus 6 over 2 is equal to now in this case we can um, add all the variable inside the parenthesis so we have here 3x minus 20 correct minus 3 so we have here 2 divided by 2 that's x minus 3 equals to 3x over 2 minus 10 we multiply 1 half inside the parenthesis, okay, then minus 3. So we group those have the same variable or the same terms. So we have here 3x over 2 minus x equals to negative 3 plus 10 plus 3. So we have 3x over 2 minus x. This would give us 1 half, okay, that is x over 2. And this equals to 10. So we have x here equals to, we, if we cross multiply, that would give us 20. So we can say then that Rico's age in the present is 20 because again, Rico's age is represented by x. That means this is now um, Rico's age. And that is in the present. Now for Aris, we know that Aris is twice of Rico's age. That means we have 2 times 20. This would give us 40. This is now the age of Aris or Aris' age. For J's age, we have this equation 2x minus 24. That is we have 2x minus 24. This would give us 2 times 20 minus 24. This is equal to 16. So this is now the age of J. So these are the present ages of Rico, Aris, and J. So I hope guys that you understand the discussion. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and share this to your friends, to your classmates, or to your um, core reviewees. Thank you guys for listening, and God bless, and see you on my next video.